Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about Surfshark. What are some good alternatives to Surfshark? Which one should you think about using out there if you do not like Surfshark? This video isn't meant to shit talk Surfshark in any way or anything like that. Just provide some of the cons with Surfshark as no VPN is perfect. In fact, I already made a video talking about TorGuard VPN, the top rated VPN on the channel. I made a video talking about the, the number three, kind of the top three alternatives to TorGuard in terms of, you know, what it could do better, what other VPNs offer as um, perhaps what VPNs have strengths, what TorGuard has cons. Now we're doing it for Surfshark. Surfshark has pretty good speeds, um, decent UI, good customer support, streaming isn't bad, and it even has a Linux GUI now, which is nice. So they're definitely improving, but like I said, no VPN is perfect. Now, what are some of the things with Surfshark that could do better that other VPNs might have answers for? Well, number one, Surfshark is not open source. Some VPNs out there are open source, which provides more trans, uh, transparency and uh, and open us, openness to the product that a lot of customers like. Surfshark doesn't quite have that yet. There's no uh, indication of when that could be coming. Another thing is Surfshark has a lot of trackers and cookies on its website and applications. Some VPNs out there have a little bit more privacy forward outlook when it comes to their website, where Surfshark still needs to improve that. It's kind of ironic with big VPNs that are really against tracking on the internet and then their website itself has trackers. So it's one thing Surfshark could improve and some VPNs do better. Another thing with Surfshark, it has no SOX5 proxy for people who want to um, use it for torrenting, whether with QBitTorrent or something like that. Um, it also has no dedicated IPs, which means that some people like to use those for convenience sake to bypass captures and other restrictions on the internet. Another thing with Surfshark is it's always kind of had a kind of muddy ownership. When it first came around, it started topping review sites and no one was quite sure why. It clearly had a big budget and was started probably by another uh, similar company, uh, VPN company or other tech company. Eventually, it came out that Surfshark had kind of been incubated by Tesonet, which is the same company who made NordVPN. So it looked kind of like an, another kind of side product uh, alongside NordVPN, maybe made with different people and a different team, but definitely shared resources. And eventually it came out that they were going to just kind of merge, uh, kind of join forces, whatever that meant. Um, and I always think that could have been done a little bit better. From the beginning, if Surfshark had said it was incubated by the same company that made NordVPN, I think people would have appreciated that transparency factor. And now it just is kind of merged with Nord. Um, it leaves a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth because some people might have bought Surfshark not knowing it was incubated by similar people, similar resources. And I think that's something they could have done a little bit better. Um, that said, you know, what else could be improved? Well, one thing is the Surfshark's price does increase after the first term. Not quite as bad as some other VPNs out there, but still something to think about when purchasing it. So guys, what are some answers to Surfshark? What do some other VPNs do better? Well, right off the bat, I want to talk about NordVPN. You might want to consider buying Nord instead of Surfshark or switching to Nord, mainly because, like I said, it was kind of the original VPN that Testonet had made before Surfshark. In a lot of ways, Surfshark feels kind of like a side project in some ways, maybe made by different people or whatever. But also it's like if you have a huge company that already made one VPN, why would you just make more of them? Uh, I'm not really sure why. Um, in terms of you know a business perspective, it makes sense. Maybe they made Surfshark to kind of seem more of like the budget option, um, which it kind of seems like it is. Um, but you know, if you have one good VPN, do you really need, uh, you know, to get to make other ones besides kind of making it as a choice? You know, let's say someone didn't like Nord. Um, they might have switched to Surfshark back in the day and now they're kind of similar companies. Um, so the argument could be made. Well, now that you realize Surfshark's part of Nord, maybe you just switch back to Nord or something like that. Another thing is. NordVPN has a little bit more fully fledged features in terms of SOX5 proxy support, like I mentioned. So if you want a SOX5 proxy, they do have dedicated IPs available as an add-on. And I would think that even to this day, NordVPN is still a little bit faster for me. It seems to have a little bit more server support, although they probably are sharing resources at the end of the day. NordVPN is a worthy alternative though, mainly because it's owned by uh, the exact same company and could be worth switching to very easily. So think about that. I'll put a link for Nord in the description down below if you're interested in checking that one out. 
Second is going to be Proton VPN. Proton VPN is a good alternative to Surfshark, namely because it's open source. It has no website trackers or app trackers, which means they do privacy on the back end a little bit better. There's also no price increases here with the payment subscriptions. So you pay what you get essentially. You pay uh, a decently premium price, a little bit more expensive than Surfshark, but there's not going to be any increases after the first term. So you know what you're getting. Additionally, I do think Proton has a little bit better additional services that you can purchase as a side. Surfshark has some data breach detecting and a virus, I believe, and some other things like that. But I do believe Proton has Proton Mail and Proton Drive and stuff like that, which is going to up the price considerably. But I do believe they are better fundamental extra service offerings that you could take advantage of within the same kind of suite of products. So I do think Proton has a pretty cool advantage there. It's definitely a solid pick, especially because it's open source, third party audited as well. And I'll put a link for Proton in the description too. So check that one out. I also do think Proton has a little bit better interface than Surfshark, it has a little bit more of a modern feel and look to it, a little bit more identity per se than Surfshark does. In a lot of ways, Surfshark kind of feels just like NordVPN, but with the shark instead of the Nord theme. And that's something to think about if you're looking for something a little bit more different. Lastly, we could talk about none other than TorGuard VPN. Now, TorGuard VPN, unlike Proton and Nord, is going to offer something slightly different. It's namely going to be much more affordable than Surfshark, even more than Nord and Proton too. Um, there's no website trackers, which is nice. They're not tracking on the website or applications which is very well uh, in terms of privacy. But outside of that, besides the website trackers, it's that affordability with code TOMSPARK2022, gonna give you 50% off all the plans, a little bit better promo codes than the other offerings here so far. Definitely a good service. Um, and I also do think their additional service offerings are better than uh, Surfshark. They have an encrypted email as well. They even have router.com where you could buy self-hosted server boxes and um, um, SSL proxies and stuff like that for your websites to self-host all sorts of stuff really good for power users TorGuard as a whole is good for power users so that's really cool to see so definitely a good option as well like I said TomSpark2022 for the code and click a link in the description too for TorGuard those are my top three alternatives to Surfshark both Norse and Proton and TorGuard also kind of each one of these offer individual things that could kind of be better than Surfshark in some way NordVPN has a kind of the original VPN that the, after all each individual person has each individual needs and that's why I'm making these videos on alternatives and stuff like that. Anyways guys thanks for the support and I'll see you again very soon.